Hello, my name is Rosemary Piccoli. I'm a student LPN and I attend CDC Pontview. The technique that I will be showing you today is how to mix insulin. So the first thing we're going to do is wash our hands, which my hands are already clean. So I already did that step. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is compare our prescription with our mark sheet. So we always have to make sure that we have the right patient, which we do, the right medication that we're going to be administering, the right dose, the right time, the right route. Okay. So the next step that I'm going to do is gather my materials. So I have two alcohol swabs. I have a syringe. Just always be sure to choose a syringe that's specifically for insulin. It'll be labeled insulin as well as it'll be marked that it's in units. That's very important. And we have our two insulins, which we can see is Humulin R and Humulin N. Before doing a preparation, I'm going to disinfect my hands. So now we're ready. I'm going to use my alcohol swabs to disinfect the top like this in a circular motion. You always be sure to use one alcohol swab per insulin. There we go. And we're going to do our five rights. So to be sure that we have the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right amount, and the right route. So because we're using Humulin N, this is a cloudy, so we're going to have to mix it in the palm of our hands, like this. So once it's mixed, we're ready to start. So for Humulin N, I have to administer 30 units. This would be my slow acting, which I would inject 30 units of air into my insulin. going to check the humulin R. My patient's sugar level this morning was at 14, so that would give me four units of humulin R, which is the rapid acting. So we're going to insert four units of air in my rapid acting. And we're also going to take it in four units always making sure that there are no air bubbles. It's very important to show the amount of unit that you withdrew to your teacher. So my teacher checked and this is fine. And now we're gonna be taking in 30 units of my slow acting. And once again, we're going to show the teacher to be sure that it's the right amount that we had to withdraw. So before we put the materials away, we're going to do our five rights again. And be sure to check that it is the right patient. Okay. The right dose. Okay. The right time. Yes. The right medication. So my humulin N and my humulin R and the right route. Perfect. So once we did our five rights, um, this is ready to be administered to our patients. We would clean up our area, put our materials away, and the technique is finished. Thank you very much.